this is Ethan Mussolini, the merchant of success, and today we are privileged to so be talking about how to develop world class personnel in your organization. But even if you are not a manager or a leader, we'll be talking about how you yourself will give you a few tips before the end of this presentation on how you yourself can become a world class person in your business, in your leadership, in your way of being. And I'm privileged to meet, uh, to share with you a great friend of mine, Jun Ito from Japan. He has consulted for organizations across the world. He was a consultant with Accenture, one of the biggest, one of the largest consulting uh, firms in the world. Uh, he's worked in the US, Japan, uh, all over the world. So we are privileged to have Jun. Jun, you're welcome. Thank you so much, Jason. Yeah, yeah. And, and at this particular moment, I really want to hand it over to you. I'll be uh, interrupting here and there to ask you a few questions, to mm -hmm. clarify, and also add in a few of my own insights. And um, this, is, this is an exciting topic because I know if you're not world class, <laughs> you're going to die. Yeah. The, it's not that the world is flat, as right. one author put it. So if you're watching this, regardless of where you are at, you have to be world class. And if you don't have world class teams, competition is going to eat you up. So uh, we are privileged to have an expert here who is going to share with us how we can make this happen. Mm -hmm. John, why don't you take it over from here? Tell us well, who you are and how you share your insights, your experience, and how it can take it from you. Thank you very much. Yeah, let me introduce myself first. Uh, I'm from Japan. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur right now. Uh, my background, I worked in, uh, I mean, the biggest, I mean, the consulting firm in the world. Uh, the name is Accenture, around nine years. And inside Accenture's experience, a variety of the top tier, I mean, the global business experience, not only in Japan, but also the United States, uh, Europe, and Asia, and also in Africa. And I also have uh, many experience of consulting and also the trainings uh, for uh, young business uh, persons to executive persons. And I also have experience in Africa, working in Africa, uh, both in the urban area and in the rural areas. So this is my background. Today I want to explain how to develop the world-class business persons in your organization. Okay. This is my, it's kind of a uh, recognizing challenges in Uganda economy. Right now, it's in Uganda, it's a lot of, I mean, investment is coming from overseas. And economy is rapidly, it's uh, growing. But, right now, it's a, there are fewer uh, global standards, I mean, the top performer, Ugandan business people. So that's why many employers, including uh, domestic people, they also want to hire the uh, domestic persons, but they can't. So that's why they usually hire the foreign business people, like from Kenya, Rwanda, Ethiopia, sometimes from Europe, India, China. So if continue to like that, how many how many people can survive in core positions in Uganda? Right now, it's getting a start. Many foreign people occupied management position in Uganda. I want to change this situation. In other words, you want to give us a different option, a different way of being. Yes. Fantastic. I like that. So this is I'm thinking if we can develop the world class business fundamentals in Uganda, it's more good cycle. So many foreign people and domestic people can hire the local people, local person as a uh, management candidate or executive candidate instead of foreign people. So Ugandan people can get the initiatives in your economy. So next, what is the factor of high performer business personnel? So this is the thing. First, of course, people need humanity and ethics. But this is many people can learn from family, local community, and primary education. And of course, high performer person should have basic academic skills, like reading, writing, calculations, and basic IT skills itself right now. 
this is many people also can get particularly it's a business persons from a primary school secondary school college universities and also people need its kind of professional expertise like accounting skills engineering skills uh, medical skills or something like that this is also people can get from the college university training institute and also on the job training at office but how about the center one business person fundamentals let me introduce for example in Japanese case in Japanese companies almost all company they have a new employee trainings for university student like some company have a one year trainings so that's a, even the university student do not have a, this skills it's okay company train them for example the other case like a US or a Europe they have a variety of experience of internship program it's more practical one so in the university student they get this kind of skills fundamental skills during the internship programs but in Uganda in my understanding there are very few this kind of opportunities to learn and also difficult to get the internship programs yeah it is John because uh, part of the challenge is at the moment you're talking of around 400,000 students graduating from universities and colleges every year and yet when you look at the number of jobs that the economy is expanding at or is adding to it is a very small number I would I would bet it's not more than say 30,000 right. jobs a year so then that becomes a challenge so you find it is a very small percentage of your discover that it's probably less than 10 percent mm. of graduates have internship opportunities mm. and that's a big challenge i see yeah so you, you you're lucky in japan good for you <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> yes go ahead so but okay i think what is the world-class business person fundamentals yeah. let me give you the one case example for example your manager ask you please buy water pump for our outsourcing firms yeah. what are you doing in in this question i think some people just go to the shop without thinking to buy something yeah absolutely you just go you just do what your boss tells yes you. <laughs> yes because just buy the water pumps yeah. without anything to worry the total head or something you yes. just got it yeah so this is just example it's not right answers but yeah. just example of how world class people do that mm. first please confirm with the manager what is the purpose to buy what is my responsibility it means to buy or just to list down the pumps or what is his expectations and what is the deadline because this is agriculture we need the deadlines and then after that please make a research plan first before start doing anything so like first probably we have to go to the outsourcing firm because we don't know the situation this is one of the tasks and also we need to go to the shop but if you don't know the shop let's ask expertise if you don't know the expertise let's ask who knows expertise this is its kind of a task and we put the milestones and how many costs we need how many effort we need mm. and then after the planning you go to you ask the manager is it your expectations is it all right probably manager can advise you you can meet these kind of people or you can go to area or something like that and then after that you just follow your research plans but usually plan is just plan yeah. you know actual situation is very different absolutely yeah. Yeah. for example in this case uh, if we go to the I mean the outsourcing farm we understand this is the top of a hill we mm -hmm. cannot use the engine pump for example in this case we have to change the plans so please investigate what is the it's a cause of I mean the problems yeah and please make alternative solutions yeah like uh, using I mean boreholes yeah sometimes it's uh, using a donkey or cows yeah. and after that you just it's a uh, I guess sort of 
you are plans you just propose the managers this yeah. Yeah, and, and, and just, I really like this plan. And, you know, when you are talking about investigate challenges and replan, you know, what happens, John, uh, what I've noticed with most mm. staff mm. and what most managers are frustrated with, when people uh, face, when a staff member faces a challenge mm. or a blockage, they stop, say it didn't work, mm. or the shop was closed, or the money is not enough, yeah. or it was raining, and they stop there. But I really like this concept of, hey, Investigate, replan, re-strategize. And I like this part of uh, think of an alternative solution rather than just sitting mm. and giving up. Because I think uh, part of you growing as a leader when you're a staff member is you have to step up and impress your manager. Mm. Say, look, there was this challenge, but this is the solution I came mm. up with. And then you say, you ask your manager, when do you think? This is a leader's dream. So yeah. This is a manager's dream. And this is, uh, I really like this plan. Fantastic. Mm. Yes, what... Let's, let's yeah. move ahead, yeah? Thank you so much. So, it's kind of a summary. What is a world-class business person who is able to first complete and execute work as a responsible job with ownership? This is a different from a just indicated a task, as a piece of a task. Yeah. The second is plan, manage your work, time, and progress based on the priorities. Mm. Third one, it's a uh, executive. Before you go to the mm. third one, how do you know that it is a priority? How? What do we have to pay attention to? When yes, you about basically, the priority is yeah. a two types. Yeah. Two factors. Yeah. One, it's a urgent. Yeah. The other is importance. Uh -huh. Good. So yeah, like this. Okay, fair enough. Good. Thank you. Yes, number three. Okay, number three is executing his responsibilities by getting others involved and cooperate them. This is also important. Your responsibility is not only your work. Yeah. The other work, stakeholders' work, is also including a client, suppliers, everything. Mm. And the fourth one, this is also important. Please be honest and truthful with hit your capabilities as well as your lack of capabilities also. I, and, and I love that because you mm. know part of the challenge that I think we have to address in this economy of Uganda is people believing that they can do anything. Mm. Even uh, you find even people who are looking for jobs, you ask them yeah. so what sort of a job they are like anything, and I'm like no, no. that's wrong. Mm. You have to have, you have to know what your core strengths are and weaknesses <laughs> yeah. are because like me as Ethan Mussolini, I know I'm mm. excellent at communicating and motivating mm. people and inspiring and training people, yes. but. I am, I am, I don't have the abilities to organize events mm. and calculate figures as an accountant. Right. So I always want people who can do those things and mm. I'm honest about it. Yeah. So I say it. Or when a client calls me and they ask me something to do in that line, I say no. Mm. But I like this concept in that are you really honest mm. and truthful? Because we are not this? God. Absolutely. You can't do everything. Mm. So why don't be honest and yeah. say this I can do, then find someone else who can do yeah. something brilliant. Good. Like yeah. yeah. <laughs> so this is it related to the number five. Yeah. So that's a please do not blame others mm. under circumstances if it's you know facing the difficulties or challenges. Mm. Mm. Because if you understand yeah. this is my problem, yeah. you can go next step. Mm. You can leverage the, your mistakes, yeah. failures. Yeah. So this is a, it's kind of a good mind. Mm. It's kind of mindset. Yeah. Good. So. So, so I can say, what is the, you know, WBPF, World Class Business Person Fundamental? This is not related to your intelligence. Yeah. It's more mindset or principles than intelligence. Be before you go that, before you go further, mm. I remember when you say principle and mindset, there is a story you told me about you and your boss, mm. about how he was using his mind and giving the difference between how he uses his mind and intelligence. Right. Would you like to share that uh, concept? Okay. Yeah. So this is, I think, the third year in the Accenture's work. Yeah. So one of my well, boss... This is in Japan? Or yeah, in Japan. Okay. Uh, one of my boss, uh, he is very intelligent uh, from my side. Yeah. But he told me, I'm not intelligent. Yeah. But I can work, I mean, much, I mean, much more than you, mm. much, much, much better than you, mm. because I know how to use the brain. Wow. Wow. So, and I recognize, I don't, I mean, we shouldn't, how can I say, it's a rely on my original, you know, it's kind of intelligence. Yeah. This is just a small part. Yeah. So we have to know how to use the brain. 
Wow. It means we have to change the mindset. Wow. I like that. I like the concept of using the brain. And I remember when I heard you say that, I was mm -hmm. like, that's amazing because you, you know, you spend years, like here in Uganda, you spend years, mm. say even 20 years mm. in school, mm. you know, high, high school, level, you know, high, high school, primary, then university, let's say 16 to 20 years. Mm. And there isn't a course unit showing us yeah. how to use your mind. Mm. And yet we keep saying that it is the most yeah. powerful computer in the world. Because yes. that's how God created us. So it's amazing. And maybe possibly that's why uh, the developed nations work better than, mm. say, here, because they are trained on how to use the mind. And if I recall, mm. you say that part of this course is mm. that you actually teach people mm. on how to use their mind uh, better to mm. produce more optimal results. Mm. Is that correct? Mm. Yes. Fantastic. So let's go ahead. What else? Yeah. So, yeah, you know, this is it depends on how to utilize your brain properly mm -hmm. instead of how intelligent you are right now. Yeah. So that's why I, I can say the mindset will have much, much bigger impact in the future yes. than your current existing skills on the capabilities. I like that. Yeah. And also, you know, some people say academic skill, academic record is good, but this uh, it's kind of fundamentals. Yeah. And the uh, capabilities. It's not related to your academic record is also. Academic record is yeah. just academic record. Absolutely. It does not reflect who you are now, what yes. you can do. I, I have a friend of mine who was telling me mm. once with one of the biggest organizations mm. here in Uganda. He said that they, you know, when they're interviewing uh, mm. potential employees, you know, they have uh, a marking scheme. Right. And he told me that for the academic mm. results, performance, out of 100, mm. was accounting for 5%. Yeah. Meaning five points out of a hundred was just academics, and yeah. yet we still have many people who are just focused on academics. Yes. academics. Yes. Yet the the biggest portion was what have you achieved? What's your mm. what's your attitude like? And yes. All that. So you are spot on, my man. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. So, and the things it's uh, these I mean the fundamental skills can be developed at any age so that's why you know because yeah. this is a mindset or fundamental changes yeah if you want to change but you cannot change just a short time yeah. because this is a behavior change of mind change mm. you need it's a continuous practice mm. in your real field yeah not in a virtual field mm. Mm. so just like a sport for example i don't know how to swimming okay actually i know but for example i don't know how to swimming I just read a book, how to swim like, you know, okay, I go to the pool, maybe I can't. Yes. Because this is just knowledge. Mm -hmm. Knowledge and, you know, it's kind of practical, I mean, experience, it's totally different. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly like that. It's not knowledge. Mm -hmm. It's more your experience. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. So, for young staff people, so what, what, what if the someone is old? Is this also? Yeah, you know, it's okay. It's person? okay. Okay. It's okay. Because yeah, it's any, any age. age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for that. Yeah, that's okay for any age. Okay, good. So yes. this is for yourself. How to develop your uh, WBPF? That it's is a world. World class uh, uh, business and plus uh, person uh, fundamentals. First, it's please learn appropriate working principles, mindset, and method methodologies and the procedures from the book, from your, I mean, the uh, working organizations, yeah. or from the friends, or something like that. Yeah. And then please recognize honestly what you do right now, and what you cannot do. What is the difference? Mm. If you recognize the difference, yeah. please make a plan and continuous practice, okay. and feedback mm. by yourself okay. on your daily work. So in other words, you're giving your, you're getting feedback to see what are you doing well that you should keep doing? What could you do differently? Yeah. And what sort of skill set and mindset do you need yes. to put in place to be a better yes. person? Good. And it's something that we sometimes miss doing, that mm. daily uh, reflection and right. feedback on what to do. Good. Yes. Next, for managers, I think many managers want to develop uh, you know, a world-class business personnel in your team or in your organization. Yeah, absolutely. This is just three tips. First, uh, please have a regular study sessions or discussions aside from your regular work hours. Mm. About, because this is a more comprehensive working fundamentals. It's not like a pointing out, it's a you know, specific task. 
The second is the please delegate a responsible job unit instead of just indicating a piece of a task. In the piece of task, many people cannot understand what is the purpose of these jobs. What is the purpose? What is the, I mean, the responsibility of minds? And the last one, please give a ch more chance to think and review by themselves. It means, for example, I know my subordinates are not going well, but please do not point out immediately. <laughs> if you point out immediately, yes. he doesn't have a chance to understand. Yes. He just change. He just follow your ways. Yeah. So it's okay the small mistakes. Yeah. It's very good for learnings. Mm. So this is just kind of my, my three point. Wow. Good. And if your staff obtains world class business and um, personal fundamentals, first it's probability and uh, productivity is more than double. So in other words, this is um, these are the advantages or the benefits yes. of having a team that has a world class business. Yes. Um, fundamental yeah. in their psyche and in their culture. Yes. Okay, good. Yes. First, it's in a product, it's more than double, triple, maybe four times or five times, it's possible because this is a mind change. Yeah, and, and I like that. It's interesting that you're saying uh, productivity mm. because apparently World Bank did a study, mm. uh, I think it was a year or two ago, mm. and they discovered that a Kenyan typically is six times more productive right. than a Ugandan Uganda. and the Tanzanian is four times productive than yeah. a Ugandan and and I understand either Indians or Chinese are three times more productive yeah. than Kenyans. Kenya. So someone was uh, concluding that that means mm. the Chinese is typically uh, 18 times yeah. more productive than a Ugandan. Yeah. Uh, well they didn't tell us about yeah. the Japanese, I don't know how the Japanese, yeah. but I know they are some of the most productive yeah. personalities in the, uh, I mean they have a very productive yeah. culture. So for me this is coming at the right time mm. that we are talking about how can we increase our productivity yes. as a nation, how can we increase our competitiveness yes. as a nation, we have to be productive, not just consuming mm. but producing because mm. for me that is critical, yeah. how can we become producers mm. rather than consumers mm. and it takes a certain form of mindset mm. and behavior and culture so if we have a program like that yeah. that will be very powerful yes go ahead. yeah for example you know it's kind of blue car workers yeah. like it's uh, in the factory yeah. their productivity is not so different yeah I, I think it's a maximum of two times in yeah. the country because wow. this is you know this kind of labor work yeah but how about it's our you know it's a white crowd work. Yeah. It's using the brains. Yeah. So this productivity is totally different mm. because of the mind. Ah, leveraging the mind. Yes. Thinking smarter. Yeah. And producing smarter results. Yes. Thinking. Yes. Not just waiting for yes. someone to. Uh, but you see, that's the key thing again. You are talking about proactivity mm. because again, sometimes I go to organizations. Mm. And one of the the complaints I hear yeah. from managers is they say when I'm not around, mm. staff just give up. Yes. They are just waiting for someone to give them instructions. Yes. What that means is they are not thinking. Yes. They are not thinking. Because mm -hmm. if you are thinking then they would do something rather than sitting. Yeah. So then you're right, absolutely there yes. that it's about a different form of productivity. Yes. And in the, the one crowd work office workers, yeah. like uh, if you know I waiting for example uh, three hours yeah. It's not three hours my time. Yeah. Sometimes three hours can change one week or two weeks. Yes. Yes. How to use the, this one one hour? Yeah. Sometimes it can change one month. Absolutely. Yes. So you're saying that if you use that one hour properly, it can transform. You can produce in one hour if you come up with a solution that mm. can be worth a month's work. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Ah, I like that. Good. Like for example, if I'm waiting, you know, someone makes a call. Yeah. And if I just waiting for one hour, instead of just calling to him, or instead of arranging some meetings, yeah. and he cannot get the time for us for one month. Yeah. So our project is stopped for one month. Mm. 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 So this is its kind of you know its kind of mindset. Wow, cool. I like that. It means mm. this is not only the I mean the staff productivities. Mm. It's also save your managers. Mm effort and the cost because manager have to review have to handle the problems mm. manager have to decide some things but if your staff can decide properly yeah you don't need to you know spend more time 
Absolutely, I like that. And you can, I can say the staff and the managers, managers cost is much, much more variable. So if you know we can save the manager's time, this is productivity is more than double. Absolutely good. And if one staff can change their mind, it's easy to expand to other staff. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's uh, in my culture I'm from the western part of the, mm -hmm. the country. There is a saying that mm -hmm. now I know what that one you can't interpret. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning that uh, if it is a badly behaved goat, mm. do not graze yours near it. Mm. Meaning it will pick up those negative habits. Right, right. But then it also it is it logically means mm. that just find where a good goat is, mm -hmm. then graze yours there. Then mm. it will pick up the good habits. Right. So I think what you're saying here is. If one staff member transforms their yes. mind and their productivity, it will influence others yes. to raise their game. Yes. And yet when one staff member is badly behaved, their mm. productivity is bad and they are complaining mm. and whining, that negative energy also pulls the yes. team down yes. and therefore the productivity yeah. also comes down. Right. So, if your organization has beneficial materials, training materials and sufficient effort, by yourself, that would be very good. Yeah. But I can say in reality, most organizations cannot afford the cost and the effort to train by yourself. Yeah, absolutely. Because this skill, it's not specific skills, like marketing skills or like a sales activity skill or project managing skills. It's more mindset or behavior transformations. So need it's a useful and beneficial training courses. And also the structured learning is more effective than just in the on-the-job training approach. And third one, it's a continuous practice and the regular feedback are required. It's not one-time training, it cannot change anything. It's more regular, I mean, the uh, feedback and trainings. Yeah. And the last one you, you told, it's, this is this kind of a friendly competition environment, it's much, much better. Yeah. For example, if, like I said, we have a training in one camp, uh, one organization, some people are highly motivated, some people are not uh, motivated. Yeah. In this case, highly motivated people just waiting. So, and not highly, I mean, the, uh, uh, low, uh, yeah, low, low, yeah. Motivated. Their people just criticize some things. Yeah. So the course is very difficult to be more effective. Yeah. Yeah. So the, and, and I remember you were explaining to me because I was like, yeah, why can't you do this for organization? And then you are like, mm. sometimes someone could be sitting in a class, so to speak, and they notice someone whom they consider to be a low performer. Mm. If mm. they are sharing something, they will switch off. They will like, yeah. I'm better than you. I remember you yes. used that yes. as an example, which I thought was fantastic. And that kind of mindset won't be at play if yeah. there are people from different organizations because you don't know whom you are playing yeah. with. And if they are really motivated, then they are going to be yes. bring a lot of value to the table. And the other, if, if you know people are from the, the other organization, we can allow many things, like from manufacturers, Absolutely. like from medical things, yes. their knowledge is different. Yeah. Their mindset is also the different. Absolutely. Yeah. And those different mindsets and backgrounds, they add value to the learning. Yeah, right. Uh, cool. So, it's like that. Yeah, so that's quite interesting, and that brings up a question, you know, how can you support an organization that wants to develop world-class business personnel? Because mm -hmm. I know you have, um, you, you have a program, you have mm -hmm. a highly structured program mm -hmm. that is long-term, mm -hmm. and I like the fact that you are saying it's long-term because I've noticed this one, two day things, the, no, you know, it's can't just, change. you know, it's, you might change a bit, but not the full culture, right. your whole mindset. So I know you designed a mm. program, uh, you know, drawing from your experience yeah. from working across the world and working the best of the best, because I know I sent you a hire the best of the best. So uh, you gave me a quick brief. Mm -hmm. Why don't you walk us through in terms of what do you have, what are the benefits, how is it structured, what does one need to do if they want to take this forward, because I know we've given them some tips, mm. but they will need a guide mm. too, so if someone wanted to engage you, John, mm. to uh, help them out, what do you have? Okay, I'm, uh, now it's designing, it's, uh, it's kind of workshop trainings yeah. here, yeah. like this is kind of a summary, 
It, this is a training, okay, young, but you know, it, it's not only the young, yeah. but it's a, basically it's a young people. It means it's kind of a staff level. Yeah. Uganda, but it's highly motivated business persons. And working in the organizations, this is not only the private company, it's more, you know, non government, I mean, I mean organizations, and yeah. also the private, uh, public sector is also fine. Okay, meaning someone from government. Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, our, our government uh, employees really need <laughs> that, seriously. I can be honest with you, we need this. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> and this is, I told it, developing the world-class top performer working mindset and working behavior mm. to work in the organization smoothly. Mm. It's, it's a bit different for entrepreneurs. Yeah. It's more in the people who work in the organization. Mm. And this is, I told, not for specific business skills. Of course, it's a marketing skills, the finance skills is important, but this kind of mindset is also very important. And the last ones, I also improving the turnover rate, empowering and supporting the communication between manager and the attendees. So this is just kind of a training overview. Uh, first, it, this is the two types of the course. First, it's kind of pre-course. Yeah. It's for seven weeks. Yeah. After that, it's uh, 13 weeks. Okay. If you get, uh, uh, if you have, can say, graduate, it's a pre-course, you can go to the fundamental course. Okay, 13 weeks. Okay. Yeah. So when you say pre-course, what does that, is that assignments, is that still certain, certain core fundamentals you lay down for people to get them true mindset, not true mindset, but to prepare them to receive the core fundamentals? Yes, yes. I mean, in the first seven weeks, uh, many uh, employees can change their mind, okay. but they don't know how to apply ah, okay. the real work. Okay. This is a bit different. Right. And one session is kind of three hours, okay. around three hours. Great. And once a week, for example, every uh, Wednesday afternoon yeah. for three hours. Like two to five. Yeah, yeah like this. Okay. Or oh, it could be five or six to eight in the evening. Something yeah, it like depends that. on really? the people. Okay. And this is a, it's uh, attended, it's uh, 10, around one class, it's uh, 10 to 15 people mm -hmm. from a variety of industries, yeah. companies, and sectors. And you're keeping the, the number small to make sure that there's yes. high interactivity yes. and attention rather than just having a mass of people. Yes. Okay. This is only high, I mean, highly I mean, the motivated people okay. can come here. Okay. And, and you know, I really like that part of highly motivated mm -hmm. because for me, I think part of the strategy might mean mm. that we really someone has to justify mm. why they should come for this course. Mm. It shouldn't be for anyone, mm. not for someone, but they should really want this yes. because there is a, a cost attached to it. Right. And I mean, we're not going to, you don't want to waste world class principles to people who really don't want to take it. Yeah. And this style, so that's why, why I'm the small people, because yeah. this is active style workshop. Yeah. I'm not teachers. Yeah. I'm it's kind of a facilitator. Mm -hmm. It's uh, using a case studies, yeah. and this is a uh, we required. I mean the press studies yeah. and the homework. Yeah. It's a review work. Yeah. So because our class yeah. it's just mainly it's talking, yeah. discussing, yeah. dialogue. It's kind of a case study. It's like that. Okay. So you're giving them assignments, and uh, these assignments also attach to them actually doing something different at the workplace, such that they live yes. what they are learning. Yes. Okay. It's uh, for example one of I mean one of the homework. Yeah. It's most of the homework in all sessions. After you get some learning point in yeah. your class, yeah. we uh, encourage please apply this learning point yeah. in your uh, real jobs. Yeah, okay. in your workplace next day ah, and just feedback after the one week okay next class good to notice what worked what didn't work what did you realize yeah. and the insights good brilliant yes. yes tell us about the investment required <laughs> <laughs> yeah so this is the first time in the pilot here yeah i have many experience in the different you know it's uh, countries yeah uh but in uganda this is the first time so yeah. that i'm first it is thinking it's uh, for seven weeks yeah. it's a uh, 300 dollars Per person, okay, but still it's a negotiable. Okay, so and that is for the the that is for the pre course. Yes. Okay. So and you're saying that comes to about fifty dollars per three hour session the first period. Mm. Okay. 
Um, and you're saying, just also clarify, mm -hmm. you're saying that the actual fee would be $450. Yeah. And because this is on a pilot basis, you're, yeah. this is the first time you're introducing it to yes. Uganda. So you want to give people a discount. So um, in that people will come later, mm. <laughs> once you become very popular, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here in this, of yes. course, you're popular in other in the countries you worked in. But mm. I know this is the first time you're. Uh, this is the first time you're in this country. Mm. So you're saying, you know, come in uh, quickly, save yeah. one fifty dollars at least for the pre course. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and then. What else? Yeah, this is then just gonna be a whole structure. Okay. It's uh, our, I mean, the capability, it's uh, five categories. It's yeah. more general, it's a uh, working mindset or behaviors, yeah. and business communication. Okay. You know, the business communications, and it's kind of a, our casual private communication, it's yeah. totally different. But some people are mixing. So, this is, uh, we will, how can I say, uh, learn what is a business communication means. Okay. And it's a task management, work yeah. management, progress management, planning. Yeah. yeah. The third one, it's a, a team working, yeah. group discussions, how to uh, mobilize the teams. Yeah. How to, how can I say, uh, leverage the teamwork. Mm. Mm. So the fourth one, last one, it's a more business thinking, like mm. a logical thinking, mm. issue based problem solving, mm. this kind of that. Mm. Yeah, and yeah. first, yeah, uh, pre course is the same. And this is where we, we are using our mind just to. Mm. Yeah, this is where you, the, the training is when it comes to how do you leverage your mind, how do you think yes. properly. And usually we are not taught in our education mm. system. So that should be exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, and I mean, thinking it's a pre course, it's a seven weeks, and the fundamental is a 13 weeks. Okay. This is just its kind of image. Okay. No, can you just walk us through quickly in terms of, oh, it's mm. here, that's okay. Yeah, this is just some of the uh, course curriculum, yeah. like uh, for pre-course, the seven weeks. The first weeks, it's not lectures, it's okay. more consulting sessions, okay. uh, inviting the managers yeah. and the student and me, and we are talking about what is the expectations from the company side, from yeah. the student side, yeah. from my side, yeah. and what is the engagement yeah. means, what is the performance means. Yeah. This kind of that's there. Okay. And then after that, we start the it's a lectures. Okay. And in each course, the final sessions, yeah. we have a, uh, it's kind of presentation. Yeah. This is we invite the manager people there. Okay. Because manager people have to commit yeah. to this course also. Okay. Partially, of course, they are busy, so that's yeah. a please. In, but we recommend them to, yeah, in, I mean, the involved. It's a, a, a certain, I mean, a, a task here. Okay, cool. And then the 13 weeks, the fundamentals? Yeah, this is it's more, it's kind of practical ones. Okay. It's more logical thinking, yeah. and the teamwork is more also, it's more, it's a complicated one. Yeah. And the planning is also more longer. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of things. So, because I come seeing business writing, business talking, mm. Is your handling, seeing work and progress management, yes. presentation, structured communication, writing, presentation, integrative thinking. Ah, that's quite interesting. So, at the end of you know this twenty weeks, hmm. who do I become, and who is this me? Who is this new me that a manager should look forward to? That an organization should look forward to and say, you know what? I think it's worth sending my manager for you know for those 20 weeks mm. that they are committing to three hours uh, every week mm. so who is this me so, I so i'm i'm saying at the end of the day what kind of graduate are we going to have what sort of person okay. are we going to have this is a uh, i don't know whether i'm clear it's a kind of this one okay yeah if you need this kind of world-class business person yeah. who is able to complete, execute uh, his work or her work mm -hmm. as a responsible job with yeah. ownership yeah. and plan and manage by themselves, yeah. it means these people yeah. can go to the next stage. Yeah. It means not only the staff, yeah. go to the manager class. Okay, good. So that's why, yeah, many, I mean, the people can yeah. go to the management, I mean, uh, yeah, management capabilities and go to the managers. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, in other words, you're reminding us complete work, 
execute properly, mm. work with honesty and not blame circumstances but mm. actually create things, mm. create solutions. Mm. Good, fantastic. Yes, let's go ahead. All right, and but I also remember the other one was for the pre-course, but then the fundamental mm. also has its yeah. own uh, in fee attached yeah. to it. How much is that? For pilot, yeah. I'm thinking right now it's uh, around six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Thirteen weeks. Okay. So meaning, so at the end of the day, because I wanted us to be clear on that, in that here it is three hundred dollars mm. for the seven weeks, mm. but then for the thirteen weeks it mm. is six hundred dollars, mm. meaning the total is about nine hundred dollars. Yes, for pilot. For the pilot, but if it's not pilot, you're talking of around. One thousand five hundred dollars, about that. So you should be able to save around six hundred dollars if you act quickly and uh, engage your staff personally. Because I've been in this economy, I've been consulting mm. and training people for mm. over ten years mm. now, wow. and so this is the mindset and the culture that we really need—a mm. world-class culture. Mm. I was telling people that. Uh, I was telling people that look. I get some designers here mm. and they, they charge me a lot of money and mm. I was telling them, look, I can get someone, not get some, mm. not can get. I've gotten people from mm. the Philippines, from right. India, from the US, uh, you know, designing stuff, mm. high quality stuff at sometimes 25% what I'm being charged mm. here. Mm. So in that it's no longer you competing here in Uganda, but mm. competing with the rest of the world. Yes. And if if you have a product or service that is not world class and mm. you don't have a, which takes a world class team, mm. then if you don't, someone else is going to import it mm. from wherever the from right. whether Japan or US or UK, wherever it is. So you we need this. And um, you know, share with us your contacts, yeah, they are there. So if you really want to bring this to your to your business, to your world, uh, I would highly encourage you to do so. Uh, John Ito is, you know, I've talked with him, he's, he's an honest mm. guy, he's deeply committed to doing this, to helping organizations grow and helping this economy grow. He has other exciting ideas for, you know, especially for the young people and the like, but I think we need to start at the, at the core level mm. and um, to start with organizations because that's the future. That's that's the bedrock for our economy. So those are the contacts uh, for the U if you're in Uganda, the numbers are on the screen. If you're in Kenya, that's the number. If you yeah. if you are in Japan, <laughs> you need to discuss a bit more. <laughs> right. Yeah, and there's a LinkedIn um, contact. Uh, you can also, if you if you choose to, uh, if you need a bit more, if uh, in case you need to a bit more information about this guy, let me also uh, put my phone number here. We forgot to put it here. You can also call me uh, just to uh, anyway. It's taking long to write. You can zero seven seven two nine three six three six one. That is zero seven seven two nine three six three six one. Or you can uh, send an email here, info at ethanmussolini dot com. Uh, if you need, uh, just confirm because you might say, who is this guy? Mm. But trust me, I trust him. Uh, if, especially if you are here in Uganda, you might be wondering, this Japanese guy, is he just coming <laughs> to, <laughs> to do stuff? But uh, I'm putting, um, I've, I've made a background check on him. He's a solid guy. I've, I'm familiar with Accenture. It's one of the best organizations in the world. Let me write this number here. Uh, is there anything else you want to add, John, before we... Uh, we go zero seven seven two nine three. Anything else you want yeah. to? Thank add? you so much. No, it's yeah. okay. Fine. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay. uh, people. Yeah, audience. If yeah. you are interested, just I mean the uh, uh, send an email yeah. or in the form. Yeah. yeah. And also, yeah, uh, his phone also. Yeah, you can you can call me to confirm anything if you need to double check anything. Uh, but for business details on how to pay and how to train your staff. Please contact June direct directly. Uh, the email address is there and the phone numbers are there. I think it's important to develop this world mm. business culture. That's what has made Japan mm. thinking world mm. class. Mm. Uh, all its so products much. going world class. Uh, for your information, the number one car here is uh, Toyota. Toyota <laughs> products. 
That's the number one cast. So they are thinking yeah. world class. So I think we are privileged to have someone from that culture who has also worked globally yeah. in the US, UK, or UAE, yeah. wherever it is. So to fuse into this and. Uh, uh, June, it's mm. been fantastic. Thank it's you so much. It's been inspiring. I like this. I love this. Thank you so and, much. And uh, we'll see you soon. Yeah, Thank I you. appreciate you. Okay. You. <laughs> God bless.